Good evening, Bhavishya. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Bhavishya, I had an appointment uh, with my doctor, so I, you know, that's why I'm late in starting the meeting. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. So today we are starting a new chapter, Understanding Quadrilaterals. Yeah, please write down uh, Bhavishin. Done writing, Bhavishya? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, can you show me the before slide? Yeah. Good, af good, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Swati. Ma'am, ma I joined late. What? No, no, uh, no uh, that's what I was telling Bhavisha. Uh, I too had an appointment with my doctor, so I couldn't start the class on time. Uh, I started only at uh, 8.45, just five minutes back. And this is the first slide, yeah. We just started. You can write down the contents you see on the screen in your book. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Done, ma'am. Finish writing? Okay. Uh, Swati, just take a screenshot and uh, complete it later. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Can I go to the next slide, Swati?
let me write like this. Sorry. And I'll we'll just write the other one and uh, then show you the slide. All right. So a quadrilateral with no pair of opposite sides parallel is a kite. A kite is a four sided polygon. A kite is a quadrilateral or a kite is a four sided polygon in which no pair of opposite sides is parallel. So the opposite sides here are A, B and C, D. A, B and C, D are the opposite sides. A, B and C, D are the opposite sides. They are not parallel to one another. Similarly, AD and BC are the opposite sides. They are not parallel to one another. So that's what I've written here below. AB not parallel to. The symbol is this is parallel. When we strike it, it's, it is not parallel. Parallel is parallel to. The symbol stands for. This symbol stands for. I'm so clumsy. One minute. I'm parallel. Is parallel yeah. to. Is parallel to one minute.
when you this is is parallel to when you write do this and slash it is not parallel to is not parallel to then make a note of this is parallel to is not parallel to <clears throat> okay so opposite sides are not parallel ab is not parallel to cd ad is not parallel to bc now uh, uh, bhavishya uh, tell me the sides adjacent to ab which are the sides adjacent to ad ab ab ad mom ad and od mom OD is not a side of the quadrilateral. Okay, Bhavishya, AD, name the four. AB, ma'am. Bhavishya, name the four sides of the quadrilateral of the kite. ABCD, ma'am. Oh, darling. Name the four. Okay, name one side of the uh, kite. Name any one side of the kite. A B mum. A B. Name another side. A D mum. Another side. C D mum. Another side. B C mum. Now name the four sides of the uh, kite. Yes, ma'am. Now name the four sides of the kite. Um, I. It is a quadrilateral. What's the problem with you, Bhavishya? Name the four sides of the kite. Name the four sides of the kite. Swati, name the four sides of the kite. Ma'am, A, D, D, C, C, B, and B, A, ma'am. Why are you not telling an order? A, B, B, C, oh. C, D, and A, D. So the sides are sides are A, B, B, C, C, D, A, D. And here, what about this figure? What are the sides here? Ma'am, B, Q, Q, R, R, S, and S, P, ma'am. Q, R, R, S. SP. Name the diagonals. Ma'am, AC and BD, ma'am. BD. Name the diagonals here. QS and RP, ma'am. QS and RP or PR. PR and QS. Name the four vertices of the first kite. Ma'am, A. Name the four, name B, the four vertices. A. B C D A B C D. Name the four vertices here of the second P -Q -R. kind. P Q R P Q R S. Yeah. So a quadrilateral with no pair of opposite sides parallel is called a kite. What are the properties of a kite? Uh, see, I should have written this first. In a kite, you know. Each pair of adjacent sides is equal. Or you can also say like this, both the pairs of adjacent sides are equal. So see here, adjacent sides like this, AB and AD, BC and CD. AB is equal to AD and BC is equal to CD. So like if AB is 5 centimeters, AD is also 5 centimeters. If BC is 8 centimeters, CD is also 8 centimeters. And in this figure, uh, Bhavishya, in this figure, name the equal sides. Ma'am, QR and SR, ma'am. QR and SR, okay. QR and SR. QR is equal to SR. And then the other pair of equal sides? QP and PS, ma'am. PS. Okay, so uh, we have two pairs of adjacent sides equal. PQ and PS, they are adjacent sides. PQ and PS are adjacent sides. They are equal. QR and SR, they are adjacent sides. They are not opposite sides, they are adjacent sides. They are equal. 
QR and SR, their adjacent sides are equal, and uh, PQ and RS, uh, sorry, PQ and PS, their adjacent sides are equal. So in a kite, adjacent sides, each pair of adjacent sides is equal. So PQ is equal to PS, QR is equal to SR. And the first figure, AB is equal to AD, BC is equal to CD or DC. Okay, so by the definition, in a kite, neither pair of opposite sides are parallel. Diagonals are unequal. That means the diagonal AC is not equal to the diagonal BD. Pavishya, in the second one. Mom. Avishya, I said AC is not equal to BD. Diagonal AC is not equal to diagonal BD. So in the second figure. Mom, diagonal PR is not equal to QS, mom. Diagonal PR is not equal to the diagonal QS. So in a kite, diagonals are unequal. In a kite, diagonals are unequal. They are not equal in length. Then the third point, diagonals are perpendicular to each other. That means they meet at right angles. Babisha, in the first figure, which angle is 90 degree? Wherever I mark 90 degree, name that angle. Mom, A, mom. No. Uh, Swati? Um, angle A, O, D, mom. A, O, D. Angle A, O, D is 90 degrees. Angle A, O, D is 90 degrees. See, this is the diagonal A, C. This is the diagonal B, D. They meet at, at right angles. They are perpendicular to each other. This is one diagonal. This is the other diagonal. They meet at right. They meet here. See, this is one diagonal. This is the other diagonal. They meet here. They meet at right angles. They are perpendicular to each other. That means they meet at right angles. So this is 90. Everywhere it's 90. If this is 90, see, if this is 90, this also will be 90. This is also 90. This is also 90. <coughs> Diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So I have marked angle AOD 90 degrees. And uh, Bhavishya, the second figure, which angle is 90? Ma'am, R, uh, S and T, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. P, T and S. It's not P, T and S. See here. Angle, how do you name it? Angle AOD, like this. Angle AOD. Angle PTS. Angle PTS like this. Angle AOD is equal to 90 degrees. Angle PTS is equal to 90 degrees. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Then the longer diagonal bisects the smaller diagonal. So uh, Bhavisha in the first figure, which is the longer diagonal? Ma'am, A and C, ma'am. No, darling, it's not A and C. It's AC. Okay, ma'am. AC. The longer diagonal is AC. Which is a uh, smaller diagonal? BD, ma'am. BD. The longer diagonal, it cuts the smaller diagonal into two equal pieces. That is what is bisects. The longer diagonal cuts the smaller diagonal into two equal pieces. So now tell me which are uh, which diagonal is cut into two equal pieces? A and C, ma'am. A C, ma'am. A C is the longer diagonal. That is like the knife. That is cutting something else. When you cut something with a knife, the knife is the knife remains the same. Whatever you're cutting is cut into two equal pieces. AC is like the knife. AC is AC only. AC cuts the other one into two equal pieces. Which is the other one? Oh, ma'am. No, Swati. I'm going to repeat it. Read the fourth uh, uh, property. Yes, ma'am, the longer diagonal bisect the smaller diagonal. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. 
the longer diagonal bisects the smaller diagonal ma'am yeah so what do you what do you understand from that ma'am it's like ma'am for example in the first figure ac is the longer diagonal ma'am it bisects bd into two equal halves ma'am and it cuts into bo and od ma'am so the okay. length of bo and od will be same ma'am yeah is uh, is ao equal to oc ao no ma'am that's not possible it's it it no. will not be equal ma'am yeah uh so the longer diagonal so ac cuts the smaller diagonal into two equal pieces the smaller diagonal is bd so bo is equal to od bo is equal to od bo bo is equal to od because ac cuts it into two equal pieces and now tell me here bavishya which is the longer diagonal in the second figure pr ma'am pr pr cuts sir, the smaller diagonal which is the smaller diagonal qs ma'am qs so this pr no it it's like the knife it cuts qs into two equal pieces so which are the two equal parts of qs QR and DSR, ma'am. No, but I'm QT and TS. QT and TS. So QT is equal to TS. Then the other properties: one pair of uh, opposite side, opposite angles are equal. One pair. The last one: one pair of opposite angles are equal. So in this figure, in this figure, this angle. This angle will be equal to this angle, and in this figure, this angle will be equal to this angle. The other pair is not equal. Yeah. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, if angle uh, P will be equal to 60, ma'am, and P R uh, it bisects the angle P, no, ma'am. So if P equals, uh, if they ask to find the value of P, will it be like a uh, Will the angles that bisects P will be equal, ma'am? Yeah. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. This angle will be bisected. This angle is bisected. This is bisected. This one is not bisected. This is not bisected. This angle is not bisected. Yes, write down first, children. Done, ma'am. Yeah. Done, ma'am. yeah so uh, bavishya i am not um, trying to repeat anything i think you will get used to it now you uh, go through whatever you know we understand and maybe next class you can ask me your doubts okay okay ma'am yeah so one pair of opposite angles is equal so that means this angle this angle will be equal to this angle 
and in this figure this angle will be equal to this angle right on this Yeah. So now in a kite, you know, it's actually two isosceles triangles with the same base. A kite is actually two isosceles triangles with the same base. Two different isosceles triangles, not identical. OK, so that's why this side is equal to this side. See, you know that in an isosceles triangle, two sides are equal, correct? You know, you know that in an isosceles triangle, two sides are equal. Yeah. So this is an isosceles triangle. This also is an isosceles triangle. So a kite is basically an isosceles triangle with a common base. So see you. Uh, sorry, a kite is basically an iso. Sorry, sorry. Somebody came in and you know, I get distracted. Sorry. A kite is. Uh, a figure formed by two isosceles triangle on the same base. So this is one isosceles triangle. This is the other one. They have a common base. So two isosceles triangles on the same base. Not like this. See, you can have two isosceles triangles on the same base like this also. Can I clear the slide? Yes, yes ma'am. I haven't taken pictures. Yeah. Yeah, children. So, here. You can also have two isosceles triangles on the same base like this. Like this. Okay, you can also have two isosceles triangles on the same base like this. Not like this. So, the two triangles must be opposite to each other. The two triangles must be opposite to each other like this. This side equal to this side, this side equal to this side. Now in an isosceles triangle, when these two sides are equal, these two angles will be equal. These two angles will be equal. So like if this angle is 50 degrees, this also will be 50 degrees. Now in this triangle, since these two sides are equal, these two sides are equal, these two angles will be equal. This angle will be equal to this angle. So say, supposing this is 30 degrees, this also will be 30 degrees. Now, what is this whole angle 50 plus 30, 80? This whole angle is also 50 plus 30, 80. That is why one pair of opposite angles is equal. That's why one pair of opposite angles is equal. I'll tell you again. 
This is an isosceles triangle. These two sides are equal. So when two sides are equal, uh, uh, the corresponding angles are also equal, meaning the angles opposite to the equal sides are also equal. Opposite to this side is this angle. Opposite to this side is this angle. So if these two sides are equal, then these two angles are equal. Similarly, there's a isosceles triangle below here like this with these two sides equal. Now, when these two sides are equal, this angle will be equal to this angle. So I said, if these two angles are equal, say some 45 degrees, this also will be 45. Now, these two angles are equal, say 30 degrees. This also will be 30. Then what's this full angle? 75. This full angle is 75. So in a kite, in a kite, one pair of opposite angles is equal. So this pair, this is a kite, right? This is a kite. This angle will be equal to this angle. All right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'm understood. Yeah. So these are the properties of a kite. Neither pair of opposite sides are uh, sorry. Neither pair of opposite sides are parallel. Diagonals are unequal. Diagonals are perpendicular to each other. The longer diagonal bisects the smaller diagonal. One pair of opposite angles. Uh, one pair of opposite angles. Yeah, are equal. And then. Adjacent. Yeah. yeah. Both the pairs of adjacent, uh, both the pairs of adjacent sides are equal, or each pair of adjacent sides is equal. Okay, that's about the uh, kite. Uh, the next one is a trapezium. Right now.
Dan girls. Is that? Yeah. Is not. Is not done. Okay. So in a trapezium, we know that only one pair of opposite sides is parallel. In a trapezium, only one pair of opposite sides is parallel. So PQ is parallel to SR. If the non-parallel sides are equal, the non-parallel sides are PS and QR. The parallel sides are PQ and SR. The non-parallel sides are PS and QR. If the non-parallel sides are equal in a trapezium, in a trapezium, if the non-parallel sides are equal, that is if PS is equal to QR, then it's called an isosceles trapezium. So in a trapezium, if the non-parallel sides are equal, it's called an isosceles trapezium. So PQRS is an isosceles trapezium because it's a trapezium because PQ is parallel to SR. One pair of opposite sides are parallel. PQ is parallel to SR, so it's a trapezium. One pair parallel, opposite sides parallel. So it's a trapezium. It's an isosceles trapezium because the non-parallel sides, PS and QR, they are not parallel. PS and QR are not parallel. They're equal. The non-parallel sides are equal. So it's called an isosceles trapezium. Done, children? Done, ma'am. Done, ma'am. Okay. So, in a quadrilateral, if no pair of opposite sides, if no pair of opposite sides is parallel, then it's called a kite. In a kite, opposite sides are not parallel. In a kite, opposite sides are not parallel. So there no pair of opposite sides are parallel. Then in a quadrilateral, 
where one pair of opposite sides are parallel it's called is called a trapezium in a quadrilateral if one pair of opposite sides are parallel it's called a trapezium if no pair of opposite sides are parallel it's a kite if exactly one pair of opposite sides are parallel it's called a trapezium and in the trapezium if the non parallel sides are equal one pair is parallel the other pair which is non parallel if they are equal then it's called an isosceles trapezium done this one children done mom done mom <clears throat> so uh, in a parallelogram uh, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel see we have marked here ab is parallel to cd like this we mark using arrows so single head arrows here ab parallel to cd so here you can see double arrows uh, ad is parallel to bc ad is parallel to bc also opposite sides are equal ab is equal to cd ad is equal to bc this side is equal to this side this side is equal to this side opposite sides are parallel opposite sides are equal diagonals are unequal the diagonal ac is not equal to the diagonal bd diagonals are unequal the diagonals bisect each other both the pairs of opposite angles are equal children just write down i'll come back
children. So we need to understand what is meant by diagonals bisect each other. What is meant by diagonals bisect each other? So the diagonals are AC and BD. Now AC cuts BD into two equal pieces. BD cuts AC into two equal pieces. AC cuts BD into two equal pieces and BC uh, sorry, BD cuts AC into two equal pieces. The diagonals, they bisect one another. The diagonals, it's not one diagonal bisects the other diagonal. No, like in a kite. No, here the diagonals bisect each other. That means the diagonal AC, the diagonal AC cuts the diagonal BD into two equal pieces. And the diagonal BD cuts the diagonal AC into two equal pieces. So diagonals bisect each other. Now, supposing I mark this point O. AO is equal to OC. PO is equal to OD because AC is the diagonal. The two pieces of AC are AO and OC. They'll be equal. It's bisected. It's cut into two equal pieces. And uh, the diagonal BD, BO and OD are the two equal pieces. AO is equal to OC, BO is equal to OD. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am, understood. Okay. Diagonals bisect each other. So, parallelogram, opposite sides parallel, opposite sides equal. Both the pairs of opposite sides parallel, opposite sides equal. Diagonals are unequal. The diagonals are not equal, they are unequal. But they bisect each other. They bisect each other. So this piece is equal to this piece. And this piece is equal to this piece. Opposite angles are equal. Both the pairs of opposite angles are equal. Now, if this full angle D, if this full angle D is 70 degrees, this full angle D also will be 70 degrees. If this full angle is 110 degrees, this also will be 110. Opposite angles are equal. Opposite angles are equal. So these are the properties of a parallelogram. Done, children? Yes, done, ma'am. Okay. So a rhombus is also a parallelogram. A rhombus is also a parallelogram. In a parallelogram, only opposite sides are equal. Supposing in a parallelogram, all sides are equal, then it's called a rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram in which all the sides are equal. You can draw a rhombus like this. Opposite sides parallel because it's a parallelogram, opposite sides are par parallel. All the sides are equal. All the sides are equal. Or you can also draw it like this. Um, it's also a type of square moment. Yeah, if the corners are right angles, it's a square. This one. Yeah, if the corners become straight, then it's a square.
So all the properties of a parallelogram will be found in a rhombus because the rhombus is a parallelogram. So all the properties of a parallelogram will be found in a rhombus and it will have some exclusive properties. So you can see the common properties in a in a, um, a parallelogram. Both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Then in a parallelogram, both the pairs of opposite angles are equal. Diagonals are unequal, even in a parallelogram. So these three properties are common. This is particular to rhombus. All sides are equal. All sides are equal. Diagonals bisect each other at right angles. There the diagonals only bisect each other. Here they bisect at right angles. They also meet at right angles. In a parallelogram, both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Here also. In a parallelogram, diagonals are unequal. Here also. Both the pairs of opposite angles are equal. Here also. What is exclusive for rhombus? All sides are equal. All the sides are equal. And then the diagonals not only bisect each other, but they also meet at right angles. So that means this is 90 degrees. Done, children. We'll be visiting these properties every uh, when we solve uh, numerical questions. So don't worry. That's why I'm not, uh, you know, like repeating anything. We'll keep using these properties while solving. Hello, yes, children. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Swati and Bhavishya, finished your dinner, both of you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's good. I'll clear the slide. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All the properties of a parallelogram also will be here. Opposite sides are parallel. So here opposite sides are equal in a rectangle. All angles are right angles. Every corner is a right angle. Every corner is a right angle. Diagonals are equal and diagonals bisect each other.
Done, children? One minute, ma'am. Okay, sorry. Done, ma'am. All right. Done, ma'am. All right. But let me write more neatly, sorry. All right, children. Finish writing, Swati and Bhavishya. Done, ma'am. Done, ma'am.
Done, children? Yes, ma'am, done. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, sorry, children. Done, na? Swati and Bhavisha done? Yes, ma'am, done. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So, yeah. So, the exclusive properties are diagonals are equal here. In a square, diagonals are equal. And the diagonals bisect each other at right angles. So, diagonals are equal. Equal meaning? Whatever is the length of this diagonal, the same will be the length of this diagonal. The diagonals are equal and they bisect each other. That means they cut each other into two equal pieces. This portion, this, this one is equal to this one and this is equal to this. And they bisect each other at right angles. So they meet here at right angles. The diagonals meet at right angles. This angle is 90 degrees. The diagonals are equal. The diagonals are equal meaning the length of this diagonal is equal to the length of this diagonal. They bisect each other. So if you call them ABCD, if you call the square ABCD, diagonal AC, diagonal AC is bisected at O. So AO is equal to OC. Again, diagonal BD is bisected at O. So BO is equal to OD. And not only that, the diagonals, they uh, bisect each other at right angles. That means they meet at right angles. This angle is 90 degrees here. All right, children. It's, uh, yeah. Take down this question, children. Sorry, children. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Now, uh, Bhavashir, tell me which property of a parallelogram will you use here to find the perimeter? Which property will you use, Bhavashir? Ma'am, um, opposite sides are equal, ma'am. Yeah, in a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. Opposite sides are equal. So, if AB is 10.5 centimeters, how much is CD? 10.5 centimeter, ma'am. And then if BC is 8.3, how much is AD? 8.3 centimeter, ma'am. Now, how will you find the perimeter of a figure? Ma'am, we should add that. Add all the, the length of all the four sides. So AB plus BC plus CD plus AD will give you the perimeter of ABCD, correct? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Yeah. Take down the answer, children.
Done, ma'am. Ravishan? Done, ma'am. PQRS is a parallelogram. Okay. See, this is parallelogram. PQRS is a parallelogram. Uh, find the values of X, Y, and Z. Now, again, Bhavishya, what property of a parallelogram will you use here to find X? Swati, sorry, Swati. In a parallelogram, opposite? Opposite angles are equal. In a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. In a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. It's given PQRS is a parallelogram. PQRS is a parallelogram. So if uh, this is 105 degrees, X also will be 105 degrees, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you must be, uh, have you learned uh, parallel lines uh, intersected by a transversal corresponding angles, alternate angles? Have you, I have not taught you. But have you come across that children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. OK, maybe next class I'll uh, we'll talk about that in detail. Now, just for this answer, I'll tell you. Just for this answer, I'll tell you. So opposite angles are equal, so this is 105. Now, when two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, when two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, co-interior angles are supplementary. Co-interior angles are supplementary. Okay, so two parallel lines, they are cut by transversal. These angles are called co-interior angles. They are supplementary. Okay, so how will you identify the co-interior angles? Parallel line, transversal, parallel line. Here and here are co-interior angles. Parallel line, transversal, parallel line. Here and here. So see here, parallel line, transversal, parallel line. How? Because these two are parallel. So see a parallel line, transversal, parallel line. So this X and Z are co-interior angles. X and Z are co-interior angles. Or they're also called the adjacent angles in a parallelogram. You can learn it like this. Adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. You can learn it in two different ways. Adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. X and Z are adjacent angles, so they are supplementary. X plus Z is equal to 180. So X is 105 plus Z is equal to 180. So Z is equal to 75 degrees. Adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. What do you mean by adjacent angles? Uh, next angles that come next to one another. See here, this angle and this angle, they are supplementary angles. That is, they are adjacent angles. This angle and this angle. Similarly, this angle and this angle, they are adjacent. This angle and this angle, they are adjacent. These are opposite angles. These are opposite angles. One and two are adjacent angles. Two and three are adjacent angles. Three and four are adjacent angles. Four and one are adjacent angles. 1 and 3 are opposite angles, 4 and 2 are opposite angles. Swati, tell me one pair of opposite angles. Um, P and R. Okay, angle 1 and angle 3. Bhavishya, another pair of opposite angles. 2 and 4, mom. 2 and 4. Bhavishya, one pair of adjacent angles. Mom, 1 and 2. Another pair. 3 and 4, mom. Okay, uh, Swati, tell me all the pairs of adjacent angles. Um, 1 and 4, 4 and 3, 3 and 2, and 2 and 1, ma'am. Very good, very good. So adjacent angles are, so first you should say opposite angles are equal, so 105. Then you must say adjacent angles are supplementary. X plus Z is equal to 180. Like that you can find Z. And then Z and Y form a linear pair. Linear pair. You can also use properties of parallel lines, children. Now we don't have time, so I'm not talking about all that. Uh, just take down the answer in the slide. 
because I have to discuss about parallel lines intersected by a transversal. Only when we discuss that in detail, you know, I can tell you different ways of doing this answer. Yeah, now take down this answer, children. We'll discuss about parallel lines transversal in the next class. Then, um, writing children. Yes, I'm done. All right. Uh, maybe I'll uh, share a video, okay, with you. Uh, explaining uh, parallel lines intersected by a transversal, and you know the different types of angles, corresponding angles, alternate angles, co-interior angles. I'll share a video, children. Uh, watch that video before you join the next class. All right. Yes, ma'am. All right. All right, children. So that's it for today's session. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, children. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Good night.